happening now. Police hunting a robber with a shotgun in Central Phoenix. He and his partner, after a big payday, trying to rip off an armored truck, making an ATM drop. Investigators just rolled out of the Wells Fargo parking lot at 7th Street and Glendale. The fugitive's accomplice gunned down by the guards when they were confronted there at the scene. Now, hitting an armored truck is no easy feat, obviously. In fact, we learned it only happens about 60 times a year nationwide. Yeah, Noah Lenny Graf is live with more updates for you now. And no, hey, do we know if the guy got away with any money here? No, we know they were certainly after a wad of cash as it was headed for that ATM. But a lot of effort goes into building those armored trucks to keep crooks from getting just what they're after. With armored transport, typically the first line of defense is the guards. Most of them uh, require one person to always stay in the truck with the truck at all times. That's what we've seen at the site of an attempted armed robbery in Phoenix. As investigators look for clues, crews switched out to man that guard a truck for hours. To protect both the crew and the cargo. Also inside, often more safes and locks on the goods. When the door shuts, it's locked. Robert Pazdurka is the president of the Armored Group. His company has outfitted trucks for Garda. Making the vehicles a lot more safe. Every inch is bulletproof. The sides, the windows, even the tires could withstand being flattened. Even though the tire is shot, you're able to continue to drive. A panic button. If something goes wrong, GPS usually tracks the trucks and lots of cameras. So that if an incident happens, they'll actually capture it and it'll be recorded on film. Not to mention, if they're doing drops at banks, you can count on more cameras there, too. Now, we don't know exactly how much money was in that truck at the time of the robbery, but to give you maybe an idea, that same company was robbed at an ATM in North Carolina about four years ago. It was carrying $1.2 million, although sometimes there's a lot less in the trucks depending on what insurance will cover. In this case, the suspect we only know as far as the description is he's in his early 20s, a black man, and he may be armed. Back to you.